Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Anthony here with Close Up Tech, and in today's video, we will be kicking off the must have Mac apps of 2011 series, which I will share a new Mac app with you every Monday. Uh, around 7 or 8 o'clock, I plan to have the video uploaded by PM Eastern Standard Time. But the first app we will be taking a look at today is a 99 cent application in the Mac App Store called To Do Licious, made by Steven Streza who's actually a really good friend of mine, uh, but he is a developer who also works for NG Moco, but uh, he does some indie work on the side, and uh, he came up with a to-do list application to kick off the Mac App Store launch, which I find that this application is definitely the simplest to-do list app out there and actually gets the job done. Other applications like Things and uh, the Checklist, what's it called? Um... The hit list. Uh, I, I feel like they do a good job, but only to an extent because they're very uh, cumbersome and they definitely have a lot of features added to them, which is nice. But having a simple to do list actually gets the job done because it goes in your mind quicker because it's straightforward. There's not much information uh, that you have to look at, it's just a title and a check mark. And that's about it. So Steve definitely did do a good job on this application. As you can see, I have some uh, to-dos here. And one's get YouTube partnership, which I hope to achieve somewhere along uh, the lines in the future. And uh, subscribe to myself, which is impossible, but you guys can. Uh, get a job, uh, make a video, which I'm doing right now, and homework. So say I already uh, made a video, which technically I did because I'm making it right now. If I check it. The to-do automatically disappears. There's no animation. There's no sound effects. It's just disappearing. And again, it gets the job done. It's simple. It's straightforward. And there's not much to it. However, if I wanted to add another to-do list that said, um, I don't know, uh, wash my dog. As you can see, it comes up in a little uh, box menu. And again, it pops right at you. That way you can think about what you need to do, enter it right there, you don't waste any time, and no added tags, no little uh, time zone options, and uh, things like that. You just hit enter, and again, it's good to go, it goes to the top of the list. Of course, you have an archive menu, which shows everything that you've checked off, which is also great. That way you can go back in the past, and of course, see what you have done to uh, look at your progress. And if I check that again, it would go away. And this search menu is also nice, but I don't plan to have my list uh, that full that I need to look at it. But again, if I just typed in wash my dog, it would show up and it goes by keywords. So H O M E, as you can see. Also, it has some nice added preferences to it. Uh, you have a theme choice of dark or a notebook theme, which doesn't look too bad, or a light theme. But I prefer the dark uh, because, again, simple, straightforward, and it really depends on your preferences. And there is an option for sounds for a new to-do or a finished to-do, as you can see, an array of options. I'll just show a little. But I, I really don't like to have those because, again, keeping this app simple is uh, what I like. That's why I veer off from apps like Things and the Hit List. And shortcuts, but again, I really don't need that. But in the future, I would like to uh, be able to use that because most likely I'm just going to forget what the shortcuts are anyway. So if I need to use the app, uh, most definitely I just launch it uh, from the applications window in Finder. And you can either show uh, the tattoos on the dock icon, which if you take a look out here, it just badges it uh, like a regular iPhone app store uh, notification for an update. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Again, two delicious, only 99 cents in the Mac App Store. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps me out. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.